on such a you know, cold night. And uh, they, I, I was happy at the university to let our students get in early so that they get in here and get warm. And just, just amazing to have that type of uh, energy in the building when uh, you know it's it's below uh, below freezing and or below zero. So I'm just really proud of that we can have that type of culture here at the university right now that people love. Uh, athletics, they love basketball, to be able to attend a 9 p.m. game on a Tuesday night and have that energy in the building. I'm sure it had something to do with the opponent. Uh, at the same time, uh, I think it has a lot to do about what these kids have accomplished so far this year. So Ohio State's got a good team. They, we, we, were, we were very fortunate that we were able to beat them. Uh, you could see it had me really worried in the first half with the action they were running. They were playing small. Uh, which takes Teske out a little bit of it, but we, we, we got through it. And uh, then, then he did a tremendous job, right, on Caleb Wessel. Tremendous job. If you told me that Wessel was going to get 12 points, I'd believe it. But you tell me that half of them would be threes, it shows you that John just did a terrific job of taking away his, his inside game. So and then you can't say enough about what Xavier Simpson accomplished today. The, the triple-double is, is incredible. I think and just as big as feet is to have the ball that much, have 12 assists and no turnovers. I don't recall that coaching that ever. You know, and uh, so just he was a spark plug. This game means a lot to him and John, as you can see it. I said the, the other the other unique thing was triple double 12-0 and John Teske getting a technical foul. All those <laughs> were, were certainly unique things in a college basketball game. But it shows how John is is evolving as a player. Uh, he likes this role that he has as being a, uh, a big defender, and uh, he, he loves uh, uh, his teammates. All right. Oh, Jacob, you want to start us off? Yeah. Uh, John, Ohio State ran quite a few different defensive looks throughout the game. How does having a point guard like Xavier help you adjust to all them? Well, it, you know, what they tried to do in the first half is just really mix this up. You know, they're going away from the coaches. The coaches can't talk to them. And they really messed with us a little bit. It took us a while to, to get recognition on what they were doing. And then Xavier, Xavier's been there. Uh, Tommy said, I think this was his, his 100th game at Michigan. Straight. All right? There's 100 straight. Yeah, yeah. he's never missed yeah, a game. Yeah. Don't jinx that. Sorry. And so <laughs> he's, he is a, uh, he's seen a lot. But even, even he and I were confused for a little bit. And then gradually, once we got a rhythm for it, we started to play with a better rhythm with a zone or man in the first half. In the second half, they played, they played a couple sets of zone. And I think JP hit a three, and somebody else hit a three, and they didn't go zone anymore. You're right with Greg. You mentioned Teske's defense. He goes the first half without fouling. When he's, he's, he's at the half, he's got zero fouls. Yep. Do you tell him you got no fouls, you can play more aggressively, or just let him play? No, not really. I, I think that I, the only way I speak to him about that is that they have too many fouls, <coughs> right? That, that you've got to just be careful. But John's whole game is changed by it's this simple. He's understanding this is better than this. And this is what he was always doing. He's trying to slap at the ball when the guy was coming up and he'd run his arms through him and he was verticality all the time. And now he's learned how to do it. Wait, wait, be more selective with shots you can block. Uh, get to be uh, more involved by walling up, making people score over you. Right in the middle of nowhere. Um, you mentioned all the things Xavier did, the, the play when he runs down less than yeah. behind and blocks the shot. And stealing I saw it on the highlight. Down. I didn't see it. I, I don't know why I didn't see it. I think I turned to the bench or something. And that's amazing. That's well, a trade well, first block of the championship game, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, I mean, how much does that energize anyone else? I think that's one of the no, I can yeah. run after that. Like, it energized the crowd, and when the crowd does like that, and I think we had a wide open three that would have torn the house off, uh, tore the roof off the house. We missed it, and JP probably hates missing it more than anything because what it would have done after that block, especially with the big guy. He just competes. He, he, he's relentless in, it, in his desire to win. Take the front, LeBron. John, you mentioned yesterday that Isaiah had some like confidence, like mm -hmm. rules to get through, to get back yep. to his injury. What do you see from him today? Well, that was, that was where he was. When you, if you remember the Villanova game, the Providence game, I think the North Carolina game, he came in and hit big shots off the bench. And then once he went, in, he got went when he got injured. You know, you sort of you, you get out of a rhythm, you get out of shape a little bit, and he was, hasn't been himself. His stats in the league in the five games have not been good. So he needed that, but he's been working extra in practice to get get back in shape and getting extra shots in as well. 
down front with Chris. Teske came up gingerly a couple times. Is he banged up yeah, a little bit? Yeah, he just got a little bit of a, uh, a, a bruise that is not it, – it shouldn't take him out, but when it lands a, when it, it, it lands a certain way, it bothers him. And then, talk, and then talk about Iggy's uh, ability to hit the big three at yeah. critical I mean, times. You know, Iggy, Iggy, Iggy just let the game come to him today, and all of a sudden he's got, he got 14 points at the end of the night. And, and he's, he hit, he's hitting big threes right now. It's a Duncan Robinson type of look with a guy will take the ball to the basket a little bit. So he's just evolving every day. I think he's understanding that uh, less can be more at times. And that we, we're going to have five guys in double figures, and today we, we had five again, I think, and could have had, might have had six if we make a couple more shots. So it's just really this team has to evolve how hard it is to evolve, and that there's no superstar. There's just a bunch of guys that really play well together. Let's go over here with John. Their coach talked about the what he considered the extreme physicality of this game. How much do you? Uh, enjoy having a team that's not going to back away from that at all. Well, I think it starts with you know when when you have when when you've been in the weight room and you've been here for two or three years, you know what the expectation is, and we can't expect freshmen to do it as well and and do it well without fouling, and that was huge today. Cause John, that wouldn't have been John two years ago, right? But Iggy Iggy stepped right into that role right now, and you know Charles can play real physical as well, and of course Xavier is. What I love is like one of the bigger plays was Jordan Poole's charge where he took on Wesson. I mean, that's to stand in there and take, he weighs 220. I think JP's 190 or something. That's a heck of a charge. So we, we just got to continue to embrace, we can play physical without without bad fouls. They've been going to the foul line over 20 times a game. They went six. You know, that speaks well to, to how well we defended them today. As far as, you know, testing being part of the technical foul there, what was the explanation you got for yeah, it, it was just that two guys, they, 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 they don't give me a long explanation. All right, double technicals, you're two guys, they're two guys, let's play. So I, I don't know how to watch it on video, but I think anybody that steps in and touches anybody or, or says anything or, or curses or anything like that probably at that time might get a technical. What we were concerned of is added another one to our total, and they get another one. Because they were, they, those two were really upset. They get another one; they're out out for the game. So that we were really concerned about just be quiet right now. I think I said that in different words. Be quiet right now, <laughs> right, and just play ball. Play. Our, let our actions speak for them. Let them do the talking. We're going to let our actions speak for us. And then did you do anything? You know, Weston got he got some baskets early, but then not so much. So yeah, he, he got the big the big 34. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he got the two. He got a pop three in the first half, pop three in the second half. He's only made ten times a year. We were going to try to, you know, what we call stab at him, rotate, fake like we're rotating at him, and then get out of there. But he really popped and he shot, shot it. I mean, that's the way they opened the game. I thought this would be a long night if he's going to be making those. That's really tough to guard that that type of uh, pop five. And so, uh, I think the other key adjustment that we made is we try to get Xavier on. Jackson all the time. We had switched some screens again, and he went to the foul line. You remember, I think he, he drew three fouls in a row when he had different matchups. That was the other thing that I thought adjustment that uh, we made uh, during the game. Loop, loop bait. John, I think you guys missed your first four or five threes, and then kind of got going from yeah. there. Really, for the first time in a couple of games, what, what was the big difference there after that start, and how big is that? Yeah, I think Jay, it, it, it wasn't the team missing JP. Had some really good looks that we have a lot of confidence. Uh, at that first time out, the, the only thing I told him is, JP, the only mistake now would be stop shooting because you are open and his and he's got an NBA line range. Keep shooting it. And that was a, that was my only message to him at that time. But it, it was basically he missed some some of those. I forget maybe Charles had a step back at shot clock time. I don't think Iggy took one. Xavier might have missed one. But it, it, J, JP, we when he shoots and misses a few times, we're. we're it's not so bad. We know he's going to make them eventually. And how big for, is it for the offense to get? Oh yeah, I mean, it, when you see any time, how many we end up with? Uh, we end up with ten. When you see us with ten made threes, it's usually a W. Coach, I think that's going to do it. All right, thank you.